everybody, it's Amanda from Botanical Handworks and I'm here today to show you how you can make your own mugwort cone incense and little mugwort beads. So you could make bracelets or necklace or whatever you like to do with beads. Um, so to start off, I have some ground up mugwort. It's nice and light and fluffy. You can see that it burns very well. Um, so to grind it up, you could either use a coffee grinder or I have a little Nutribullet, grinds it up really well. So that's a half a cup of mugwort. And for the binder, I'm using marshmallow root. So I ground up some marshmallow root. This is two tablespoons of marshmallow root and a half a cup of water. And I'll write my proportions down um, in the description so you can see what I did. So, so we're going to start off with the beads. I have this little model bead right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's about a quarter of an inch. So this is going to be the size that I'm going to approximate the rest of my beads to be. So to start off, I am going to measure about a tablespoon at a time of the marshmallow root infusion. And mix it up. I'm gonna mix it up by hand. Let's see how it gets a little dusty. Okay, I'm gonna need more. This is two tablespoons. And it's a good idea, I didn't mention this, to have wax paper ready. Wax paper is a great um, thing to have around to let them dry on. If you wanted to put the wax paper on a tray so you can move it, you can move your workspace. So this is sticking together pretty good, but I think I'm just gonna add, you can see it's sticking together. But I'm going to add just a little bit more, not a whole tablespoon, maybe a half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon. So this ended up being two and a half tablespoons, but it might work out different for you. So it depends on the humidity, depends on um, a lot of different things factor into the amount of fluid that you add to bind the herbs. Okay, so here's my little mugwort dough ball. Okay, so, so this is the this is the base right here. You could either make cone incense or you can make beads. You could probably make other things as well. Um, so I'm just gonna tear off a little bit here and I'm gonna smush it and roll it in a ball as best as I can. Now this looks a lot bigger than this, so I'm gonna tear a little bit off, roll it back up. Compare the size, it's still a little big, bigger than I want, so I'll tear a little off. This feels like the right size. You know what? Actually, it's still a little big. There we go. All right. So, I got my little mugwort ball here, and I have a toothpick. So, you're going to want to put a hole so you can string it up, and you're going to want to get it in the middle here, and push it all the way through. And it's going to lose its shape a little bit, but you can reshape it after you get the hole in there. All right. So. This did not work out well. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit more. So that's probably about three tablespoons. All right, so 
here's my little bead. Here's my toothpick. And if you wanted to use like a sewing needle, if you wanted a smaller hole, you could use whatever, whatever works for you. Whatever aesthetic or whatever you're going for. So this has a hole going all the way across. good size hole and I'll just put it on my wax paper to dry I'll make another one Beautiful. All right. So I got two little beads here. And so now we're going to make some incense, make some cone incense. So I usually use about a quarter teaspoon makes a good size. Uh, good size incense cone here. And I don't have my quarter teaspoon out handy, so I'm just going to eyeball it. So what you do is kind of squeeze it between your fingers and tap the bottom and make a base. So you kind of squeeze it up. And that makes a nice cone shape. If you wanted to use a mold, you could use like a pipe piping, like when you like frost cakes and stuff. You could use the little piping cones there. Um, and then you could like poke it out with a toothpick. So there's one. Yeah, it's about a quarter teaspoon. Two. These are not the same size. My estimations of a quarter teaspoon is not good. So, this might be a quarter to a half of a teaspoon. I mean, you can make it whatever size you like. I mean, the bigger it is, the longer it's going to take to dry, but these don't really take that long to dry. Alright, so that is our cone incense. So let these dry. Um, tomorrow I could knock it on its side, let it dry, roll around. It should be dry in a couple days, in a few days. Depending on how humid it is, it might take longer. But uh, that is and, and the beads too, just roll it around, make sure it gets exposed to the air on all sides and uh, enjoy. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks. Bye. -bye.